Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make this cute little sandals for reborn dolls. Okay guys, this is what you are going to need. You're going to need foam paper. You can get a large pack at Walmart and most craft stores have it. Try to get regular foam paper without the sticky pack. That's the only one I could find, so that's what I'm going to be using. You'll need cardboard. I'm just going to be using this for my cardboard. It's thin and it works just fine. You can also use duct tape. If you cannot find foam paper or if you want something cheaper, use duct tape. You can find this cheap duct tape at your Dollar Tree. Or there is also duct tape, which is a little more pricey, but you can find it pretty much everywhere. You'll need scissors or an X-Acto knife. I got this cute little rhinestones at the Dollar Tree, which are nice for decorating your shoes. Today, I'm just going to be making some little sandals, but later on, I'm going to show you how to make combers like little tiny Converse for Reborn. You're also going to need a hot glue gun. Okay, so let's get started. If your Reborn already has a pair of shoes, you can use that to mark out the sole of the shoe. But if you don't have any shoes for your Reborn, don't worry, you can always use your Reborn doll's feet to measure it out. You'll want to start out by drawing a line at the front and the back of the heel. And just draw it from there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can cut this out and then put it next to your doll's feet and see if you need to add or cut it a little more just to kind of like adjust it to the size you want. See, this would be a little too short for her feet, so I'm going to have to make a larger one. And just keep doing that till you find the size that you want your doll shoe to be. However, if you already have shoes, take out the sole of the shoe, and this is great for marking out the shoe. The next step is optional. You can cut out a strip of foam paper like this, or you can cut out something like this. This would make it a little wider. It would look more like sandals. But this one can be a little more tricky. This is the shape you're going to have to cut out. It kind of reminds me of a Batman cape for some reason, you know, like superhero cape or something like that. But they do look super cute. You could put a little Nike logo on it. <laughs> it would look adorable. But if you want to pause the video and look at this shape and try to draw it out yourself, then Test it out on your Reborn, put it over their feet like this, see if it's going to work. But if not, you can always go with this shape, which also looks very nice. Okay, so I cut out all the soles for the shoes. Make sure to add lots of glue to the sides so they don't come off. Okay, so there is our little sandal. I am going to add a little strip of the foam paper on the sides just to make them look a little nicer. Make sure to add lots of glue when you're doing this. Not like a lot, you know, but just so it doesn't come back off. I think that little edge looks very nice. You can just add it to the front if you like or you can follow it all the way around. So at this point, you can design them whichever way you want. You could do a design like this. 
I would probably definitely put this on before you put the little edge. You can also roll up some duct tape and glue it to the inside like this. You can even use your foam paper for this. However, I think I'm just going to leave mine like this and decorate them with rhinestones. So you could put like little beads on them to decorate them. I found those at the Dollar Tree. You could use ribbon wrap to make them look very blingy. Or you can use the little sticker rhinestones. I think I'm going to go with this ribbon wrap. Look at that, isn't that adorable? And yes, these are going to be two different pairs. I just have to make each of them a pair. These are both left, so I'm going to make the right here in just a minute, just so you guys don't get confused. All right guys, so we are going to make the next pair. For this one, you are going to need cardboard and duct tape. You can also use the foam paper, but if you don't have foam paper, you, you can just cover the second cardboard piece with black duct tape. So I ended up doing three layers of tape. I also cut the little edges like this so the edges of my little sandals are not bumpy. It really helps if you cut the little edges of the tape. For the top strip of the sandal, I only wrapped it in duct tape twice. I'm going to go around and cut a little bit of the bottom. It didn't align right. By the way guys, I am not a professional when it comes to doing DIYs. I just enjoy doing them. I'm not good at them, but you know, I enjoy it. Anyway, there is the little sandal. It looks super cute. Now I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. Aww, that looks so adorable. So I do have a little extra foam paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do the little strip on the edges of this little sandals. I just really like the way it looks. It just looks so nice and clean and more realistic. So if you do have foam paper, I think it is a great idea. This is how they turned out. Let me know which one is your favorite. I will be doing like little tennis shoes, Converse, little baby shoes, other things. But for now, I wanted to do the sandals because it is summertime right now and they are super cute. I'm quickly going to try this on Kylie so you guys can see what they look like. Oh yeah, look at that, isn't that cute? I did make them a little bit bigger. Kylie's feet, her toes are kind of curled up a little bit. So that's why it looks like that, but it's so cute. I just love it. Let's see, let's try this one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, those look super cute, guys. Alright guys, this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give this a try. It is really fun to design your own doll shoes. I'll have some new patterns and just some new ideas like tennis shoes, baby shoes. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY. If you did, remember to give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.